Okay, so um, I don't remember what day this is. Thursday, um, packages arrived and we started getting stuff um, moving again. So I got a small um, PCIe powered, um, no external power connectors needed GPU. And so I was able to go in and make modifications to the fan profiles. They're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but they are better. Like, I have the door open now. And yes, I can hear it. But it's not horrible. <laughs> um, as I say that, it's ramping up and down because I'm doing a... Uh, backup to it, which I have started. I have set up a backup profile so we um, can start doing that. Um, yeah, messing around with a lot of stuff here, just trying to figure out, you know, what what the next steps are. Um, I did pick up a battery that I thought was going to go for the RAID controller to replace the bad battery. It doesn't fit. It's the right, like, physical size, but the connector is wrong. So that was kind of frustrating. Um, the um, two SAS cables came in, so I have those hooked up now. Um, honestly, they just they feel like higher quality cables than the ones that came with it. Um, no, no major reason as to why. Um, other than I wanted to have the two plugged in. Um, I realized, thankfully, last night that the HBA card that I have coming in uses a completely different connector. Um, it's the SAS 3 connector, so the mini SAS, um, rather than the SAS 2 connector, which is like the 8087 connector. Um, they all have nomenclatures that I don't remember, but... I got the a correct adapter cable to go in between there, so um, that will be arriving probably before the HVA card gets here. Um, I'm actually not sure. Let me just do this real quick. Here. Let's just look at the tracking information. No, no, they may actually arrive relatively on the similar timeline because this is showing um a uh, receipt uh in the general vicinity of me so um yeah left new jersey yesterday and is you know coming in towards me so all right better than i anticipated um yeah so swapped out and i'll try and show some pictures the <laughs> the really nice um, Dark Rock Pro cooler, which was practically passive and was still cooling fairly well to a, um, to you noisy, not great cooler. Um, so let me, let me switch here and you can see we're at, um, it'll peak in the seventies, um, yeah, there we go, 74.9. Um, and so the fan speed tracks with that. Um, I probably need to, uh, what I would do normally is create um, fan curves, but um, I don't remember if this is, um, uh, if this Asus board is intelligent enough to do that. Um, I know the software could, like the actual um, AI3 software, the Asus software would do it, but this is running TrueNAS, so I don't have the opportunity to run that software. Um, but yeah, um, making good progress there. So when the HBA card gets in, which we just saw will be sooner than I anticipated, um, I guess I destroy the tank and rebuild. So, reason being is, um, it just seems like 
the RAID ZFS or the RAID Z1 is the preferred option. I did a bunch of reading and I could probably get away with doing the RAID controller. Um, and if the battery had come in and been the right size, I probably would have done that. But as it is, I really, I don't know, I, I could roll the dice and try and get another battery. The card is getting pretty old. Um, and so, yeah, it's just kind of a, I don't know. Uh, again, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this, but the principle of it is, because um, we can, let's pull up, that's Xeon, I need Radon, or Argon, there it is. And so I moved a whole bunch of data over there last night. So I say a whole bunch. I moved two terabytes of data over there, and it doesn't really make a dent in it. And then I started the backup process. And so um, this will be the backup that's running. And you can see here it's already 133 gigabytes in size. And it is only 9% complete. So, um, that's got a ways to go. Um, and these, once the main backup finishes, it'll run incremental, um, not incremental, um, I forget what the name of it is. Differential, differential backups after that. And so that will live on this, uh, server. And then, um, yeah, so made really good progress there. Um, the the file system is moving quickly. Um, I don't think I'm going to see any improvement switching over to the HBA card, but it's technically possible that I'll get better utilization out of the CPU for your compression and stuff like that. Um, and then the other thing that I've been looking into is whether or not I need more memory. And I think the answer is no. Um, I've been looking into it and it seems like, you know, if you're running a bunch of VMs or, you know, other programs that chew through a bunch of memory, it would make a lot of sense. But in my case, I'm only doing, you know, file transfers and it's relatively static so you know again not that big of a deal for me to do um so yeah the other one is i did order from supermicro themselves the rack rails so um, i'll get those in and hopefully get the um the server in the cabinet um, again you know just looking at um, fixing well, not really fixing cleaning up the fans to where I can put it in the same room as me I've got it 75% of the way there I gotta get it the over the hill and you know clean finished up to the point where yeah, when the when the fans kick on, when I'm actually doing an encode or, you know, like I'm transferring files here and it's actually needing that CPU cooling, then yeah, I'll I'll set it up to do that. But and I could probably shift these, you know, to where instead of I can leave the CPU cooler running on the um tied to the CPU temperature and then set the front and back fans to run off of the motherboard temperature or um 
in theory, I, I do have some thermal probes I could even set up and maybe attach one to a hard drive. Um, cause I am going to be getting in there and messing around with it. So, uh, cause I'm, I'm going to break the, the tank. Um, so yeah, after transferring all this data to it, I'm going to transfer all this data back out of it. The nice thing is I have plenty of storage to do that with. I'm not constrained um, by storage currently. Um, if I actually put a dent in this thing, then it would become a, a real challenge. Um, and it's it's been the same challenge that I've always had, is you've got one big volume, you know, say, say Xeon, for instance. Xeon is a 40 terabyte volume. If I need to move that, before now, I had nothing that could receive that amount of information. I would have had to have gone out and bought more, for, you know, 20 terabyte drives, put them in somewhere, and then made that change. My hope is that now this will be, you know, I can bounce anything that I want into this pool. Um it won't be necessarily the first place I put information, but it will be, um, you know, a large repository for colder files. Um, you know, a lot of my video projects and stuff like that that I'm doing don't really need to live on local storage after they've been, you know, encoded. Um, and again, I, I put a bunch of um, pictures and videos over there and I was doing some light editing and, you know, it works. I, no doubt about it. You can truly edit off of this, um, you know, edit 8K footage out of this um, server, um, which is really nice. Um, the only thing that I really wish that I could do is, you know, create a better... And again, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like maybe I need to go through and enable larger chunk sizes or something because I can crystal disk mark a full 10 gigs. But when I'm doing an actual file transfer, I can't get anywhere near that speed. Um, I can usually get about half. So. It just, uh, I've got uh, nothing bad, but I've got a lot of learning to do. Um, so yeah, making making good progress. Um, I'm still overjoyed that I've made as much progress as I have on this, and it's been, knock on wood, relatively straightforward. I'd say painless because I, I definitely have um, had physical pain on this project, but um, uh, you know, for the majority of this project, things have gone reasonably well. You know, I put in 16, 16 terabyte drives and didn't have a failure in a drive. That's pretty decent. Um, and yeah, so I will call it there. And this has been rambling number four. Um, and yeah, I'll try and throw in some footage of kind of what the rack looks like. And, um, well, not the rack, but the, the server chassis. I've got the top on there now, which really helps with the sound. Um, putting the top on gets it more manageable. And it really helps the airflow, um, cause those fans are designed to pull air from front to back. Um, and so, yeah. All right. That's, that's it for me.